so Gears Esports, um, they tweeted, and, and it's interesting, I should have screenshotted this because now I'm looking at this and um, yeah, it's it's not here anymore. But they tweeted essentially, guys, saying thank you for all the support um, that the Gears fam has shown over the years to their partners, things of that nature. Um, they said, this isn't goodbye, it's see you later. They said that. And I think that that is really interesting that they took that down. Um, for whatever reason, that's what they did. But what I wanted to what, what I wanted to, to 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 bring up though, even though that's what they said, they said that it isn't goodbye, it's see you later. In terms of like like what I'm getting at here is that Gears of War guys, I mean Gear in Gears Esports is way too great um, to like just allow uh, for this to, I mean, it's just, it's such an incredible esport to say that it's never going to come back. It's, it's like ludicrous, um, that they would never bring back years esports. Now I'm sure they have future plans and such, but interesting, um, interesting stuff here, uh, that they posted on the, uh, gears dot GG, uh, page gears esports and uh, the coalition, they, they put up this, guys, saying, Sunday, June 26th, saw the final match of the Gears Esports program as Rise beat Pittsburgh Knights in yet another fantastic showcase from the best Gears players in the world. With some incredible moments, maps, and matches throughout the weekend, it was a fitting way to end the program. From everyone at the coalition, we want to thank the teams at UMG, TV Azteca, PGL, EGL Logitech, and our other partners who have supported us since the launch of Gears 5. Without them, we simply wouldn't have been able to manage a program of this scale, especially throughout the COVID-19 pandemic. Over the course of the next few weeks, we will be deactivating the Gears Esports Twitter and Gears.gg site as we wrap up the program, but the photos from our events will live on to keep the memories alive. In order to get the latest news and updates from us, make sure to stay connected to the official channels of Gears of War on Twitter, Facebook, and Instagram. Finally, and most importantly, we want to say a massive and sincere thank you to the Gears fam for all the support you have shown us throughout the last few years. You, our players and community, are the most important part of our franchise, and we're looking forward to sharing our future plans with you. So, the big thing here is, number one, why are they deactivating the Gears Esports Twitter? I mean, just leave it up until, like, you know, unless you're never planning on bringing Gears Esports back, leave it up. Like, I think that, that like, that's a piece of history. Like, I don't understand why they're going to be deactivating that. And even, uh, I can understand a little bit more the website than I can the Twitter. Uh, it doesn't make any sense to me. Why are you going to deactivate it? Um, what I think is really important, though, guys, is they say you, our players and community, are the most important part of our franchise, and we're looking forward to sharing our future plans with you. It's going to be interesting to see what the future plans are, because, you know, what would a Gears of War title be without esports? I can't envision them making another Gears title without the plans of having esports some way, shape, or form. I mean, it's like Halo Infinite coming out and they're not planning on bringing back the HCS. They're just planning on having it, you know, just be another game and it doesn't have any esports backing or anything of that nature. Esports really helps push games forward, in my personal opinion. And so... Uh, I, I I don't like uh, a couple of things that the coalition are doing here. Uh, maybe there's a, a method to this, a, a reason for this, um, but I it doesn't make a lot of sense to me unless they're not planning on bringing back Gears Esports, which I think would be you know like it would be such a disservice to the franchise if you're going to bring out Gears of War Six without esports attached to that. Um, this is. In my personal opinion, the best third-person shooter esport in the world. Now, people will argue games like, you know, Fortnite, PUBG, because you can go third-person, obviously. I mean, the, you may argue other games, but like Gears Esports, there's nothing like it. It's like the WWE of esports, and um, for them to 
not bring it back in some capacity or another would be such a disservice to the franchise, in my personal opinion. Um, so I, I want to go back to a tweet that they had put out, even though it was deleted now. Um, they said that this isn't goodbye, it's see you later, which is coming from Gears Esports, okay? So just remember that, guys, that they said that before it was taken down. Now, I don't know who took it down over what whomever it was over at the Coalition or whatever the case may be, um, whoever was running the Gears Esports account at that time. Um, but all I will say is I do believe that Gears Esports will return with Gears 6 um, for sure. Um, and if it didn't, I think it's up to us as the community, like I've stated this, it's up to us now to really push Gears of War and keep this as a relevant ordeal until Gears of War 6 or the Gears of War collection comes out. So we've really got to do our part uh, from that perspective, but the, um, you know, when Gears 6 comes out, if it doesn't have an esports scene at, you know, plan at the beginning, we've really got to you know, voice our opinion to the coalition about that. It is so important to have esports attached to Gears of War, in my opinion, from a just from a history perspective, like where we've come. Uh, this is a very competitive title. It, it needs to continue moving forward. I just think you have to have a strategic way in order to, you know, whether it's scaling back on certain things with with the esports to kind of make it more of a sustainable ecosystem. Um, so, you know, and that may even have to come down to like the players not getting paid quite as much and, and things of that nature. But as long as we can keep it sustainable and grow it, I think it's a consistent growth. Um, that's what's going to help us in, in the future. But I, I'd love to hear your guys' thoughts about this in the comment section down below. What do you guys take from what the coalition is saying here in terms of the Gears Esports scene? Let me know. And for more Gears Esports content and videos, stay here with Zero TV.